Okay, um, hello everyone. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Okay, so um, I'm very sorry that it's taken a while uh, since I made a video. Um, I traveled for a while and I did some other things. Um, but I'm back and I'll continue making the videos plus more. Okay, I'm very sorry for keeping anyone who was waiting on me um, waiting. Um, I know that some um, some, um, you, uh, most, some of you needed the videos um, you know, to continue your studies or do things or, or learn from it. And so I apologize for that. But like I said, I'm back and I'll continue making the, the videos and the rest of the programs plus more. All right, so the next program in chapter six, is it chapter six? Yeah, chapter six in Python, <laughs> it's been a while, is exception handling. All right, so it says modify the program that you wrote for exercise six so it handles the following exceptions. IO error exceptions that are raised when the file is opened and data is read from, from it. Value error exceptions that are raised when the items that are read from the file are converted to a number. All right, so exercise six was average of numbers and the last time I checked. So let's go ahead and open that program. All right, see, okay, so I actually um, checked. So it's average of numbers here. And it's funny because the, the program didn't say, when we were writing this program, it didn't say we should um, add exceptions, but we actually added exceptions to, to some extent. So I will remove them and then I'll do it the way the, the, the way this program now is asking us to do it. All right, so average of numbers, let's first go through um, average of numbers um, before we try to work on this one. So this said, we should assume that a file containing a series of integers is named numbers.txt and exists on the computer's disk. So we should write a program that calculates the average of all the numbers stored in the file. So we basically what we did was we created a file on our computer with a bunch of numbers. We actually put in the, the numbers and then we found the average. We read from the file and we added, added them all up and then we um, basically found the average and then we displayed it. Um, that's what this program is asking us to do. But this new program is asking us to modify this chapter, um, average of numbers program so that it handles um, exceptions, um, as, um, specifically IO errors and value errors. So we're going to refer from this program. We're going to make a copy of this and paste it here. We're going to work with this one in um, exception handling with chapter with this average of numbers program in this one. And um, since we also created a file, we also we need a, a file. We need a copy of that file in this folder when we save it. Otherwise, when we try to run this program, it wouldn't find numbers.txt, right? When you open average of numbers, we created this numbers.txt file to contain the numbers that the program is going to read and find the average. If we are making a copy of it for this new program, we also need that file in this folder. Otherwise, when we run, run the program from this folder, we are going to save um, um, this program into, we, we won't be able to find the, the file, right? So I'm going to close this program since we are done with it, average of numbers. And then I'm going to go to that um, average of numbers folder and make a copy of this text file. We will need it when we are working with this new program. So let's first let's first go ahead and save this. I'm going to save this new program, Command S or File Save, and then I'm going to save it in the folder where we save all our Python um, programs. So desktop Python programming challenges chapter six, and I'm going to save this one as exception handling. Dot pi. So uh, let's just do that. Oops. All right, so exception handling.py. All right, so I may be a bit rusty because it's been a while since I, uh, I, um, you know, did, did these videos uh, or did these programs. So, but I, I think I, I should be back in form soon. <laughs> All right, so I'll save this. Before that, I'll create a folder in this, um, in this chapter six folder, and I'll call it exception handling. And then I'll save this file in here as exception hand, exception handling.py. Okay, so we need to let me, let me go ahead and open that folder and save the text file that I just copied in there. So desktop Python programming challenges chapter six exception handling 
exception handling and then I'm going to paste the numbers.txt file that I just copied from the average of numbers um, folder so now we have a new folder chapter 9 sorry <laughs> chapter 9 chapter 6 program 9 with the numbers that txt to work with we also have a copy of, the, of this file so basically currently as it stands this program is a copy of average of numbers right with some exceptions but it's not exactly what um, this program is requiring us to do so I'm going to go ahead and remove all the, the code that basically tries to handle exceptions and then we're going to do it from scratch with these instructions so I know that to try is one of them I'll go ahead and, and remove this line also except it's one of them and this is also one of them don't worry um, it will look good once I'm done removing the, the code that tries to handle exceptions this else is one of them and um, I apologize that's the library uh, but I'm in a school library making this video now um, all right so I've removed that I can't see anything else that uh, that has to do with file, um, exceptions so I'm going to go ahead and indent this properly okay I think we are good let me try to run this and see if it works at least okay so it's working it's trying to read from uh, this file so it's basically finding the average of all of these numbers and it's saying that it's 11.6.25 let's try to uh, let me open this let's let's try to change the numbers here oops I have it open twice all right let me make sure that I'm open the, the file from the chapter 9 folder which is this one um, ah, from the chapter 6 from the exception handling folder exception handling folder so I'm going to change this to 67 all right save it let's see if the number number changes when I run this it changes so that means that we are working with this all right this is the, the file that's in the exception handling folder all right all right, so now this program has no exception handling. So let's follow these instructions and do it the way it's asking us to do it. So modify the program that you wrote for exercise six so it handles the following exceptions. IO error. IO error exceptions that are raised when the file is opened and data is read from it. So IO error will be something like, it's basically um, file input output um, operations. For example, when the program tries to read um, or tries to open a file, a file that doesn't exist, the program is going to crash and it's going to throw an exception. Anytime there's some kind of error, um, it's, you know, it's basically called an exception, right? And the program won't ha has no code to handle it. It's not going to tell the user uh, anything. It's just going to crash, right? So when I try to, let's say, currently it's trying to open numbers.txt. When I run the program, it works because it goes into the folder and it finds numbers.txt. Okay, right now we're not seeing an extension. Extension. Let me change a few things. Um, let's see. Get info. And then name an extension. Don't hide it. Show it. Okay. So I'm going to close this. Now we can see the extension. This file is really numbers.txt. We are trying to open numbers.txt here. The reason this uh, program works is because it, it goes into this folder and it can find numbers.txt so it's not encountering any IO error right currently we don't have any code to handle IO errors if I change this to num.txt when I run this program it's going to crash so this is a problem and that's why the question is saying we should modify the program so that it handles IO error exceptions that are raised when the file is opened and data is read from it right there's no code to handle this we are seeing this error message but normally this is what will happen the, the user will see no message nothing but when you read over here it says no such file or directory num.txt we need to write code to handle this so that it displays something nice to the user and we saw a little bit of it um, in in the average of um, numbers program we tried to um, write we actually wrote a little bit of code to handle exceptions but we didn't do it exactly um, the, the way this question was asking us to do it so let's do that Let, let, let's write um, code to handle this so first of all the reason why it's crashing is because it's opening the folder it's opening this folder and it's trying to, it's trying to find uh, num.txt it can't find it and that's why it's crashed so with the, with the same logic when we were trying to write exceptions in average of some uh, average of numbers you can go go to that program or that video 
and then uh, refer from it. You, you can refer from that and then see how we're going to do this too. Right? So let's try, we're going to write a, a try statement uh, to, to basically you know, try to run this block of code. Okay, let's just indent it. Try to run this block of code because we know that this line, for example, has the potential to throw an IO error. So try to run this block of code. But if you face an exception, which is an IO error, then go ahead and print a message saying that an IO error has occurred.